Hi and welcome Capricorn to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This video is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And it's your love reading for October 2023, although all of my videos are timeless. So whenever you're coming across the message, that is when you're most likely meant to hear it. Okay, and we're going to get right into it today, Capricorn. This first card that I'm pulling is your energy for the month of October in your love life. Six of Swords in reverse, okay? How I'm reading that energy today is someone here is trying to move to a calmer time period in your life, but you're feeling held up. Something is holding you up from starting this new phase in your romantic life, or at least that's how you feel. So a little bit of a stagnant energy. Um, that doesn't mean that that's going to persist throughout the month. That's just how you're kind of entering October. And we're going to get some clarity on this. Um, we're going to find out why and what's going on and like what the potential outcome is and what we can do about this situation. But someone here may be feeling stuck in, in their love life right now and you're trying to move to a calmer period. Your person's energy is the next card that I'm going to pull. And if you don't have a specific person in mind then it's whoever is most dominantly attached to your energy for this month of October, okay? Whoever this is attached to you, Capricorn, yeah, they've, they've come to some kind of decision. They're acting very decisively in their romantic life. And what I'm picking up right now is that they've decided they want you. We're going to clarify, get some information on who this might be. Um, some of you might know who your person is, but if you don't, we're going to clarify and get some more information on that in a little bit, okay? I'm hearing the name David again. I keep hearing that name throughout the past couple weeks, so that's going to connect for someone. This next card lets me know the basis or foundation of your connection with this person. So either how you might come together with this person, how you might relate to this person, what your dynamic might be like with this person, Okay. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, very powerful energies here, Capricorn. So you're fated to be in this connection with whoever this is attached to your energy. That's very positive, okay? It came out upright. So this is like positive karma that this person is coming into your life right now. And it is meant to be. It is fated. And that's very, very much how the two of you are going to relate to one another. When you meet or when you come together, it's going to feel very serendipitous. Um, you might even have like a very chance meeting when you come across this person that almost seems like too good to be true or something that you would see in a movie somewhere. Um, it's going to be a very kind of surreal feeling when you come across this person and both of you are going to feel the same way. Um, as you relate to one another, it's going to be a very easy flowing dynamic. So the two of you should have very positive communication. It's going to flow very easily between the two of you. Romantic feelings are going to flow very easily between the two of you. And it's going to be a very positive connection when you come together. So that is beautiful energy, okay? And if it doesn't happen in the physical world during the month of October... Just know that this is happening in the 5D right now, and it is something that's faded. So for many of you, this very well could happen in your physical world this month. The next card lets me know about any possible challenges that you and this person might come across, okay, or any obstacles to your connection with this person for the month. Ooh, two cards wanted to come out here, so I'm actually going to take both of them. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and we have uh, the High Priestess in reverse. Sorry, sometimes I have to look at the cards. Okay, uh, what this lets me know, I feel like whoever I'm tapping into today, Capricorn, you, are, you most likely resonate with a divine feminine energy. Okay, and the reason I'm saying that is because I pulled both the Nine of Pentacles, which is like pre-empress energy and also the high priestess which is also associated with one aspect of the divine feminine both of them came out in reverse though so i'm sensing that if there are any challenges or difficulties to your connection this month it has to do with you possibly feeling disempowered in some way not standing in your power um whether that be falling back into old behavioral patterns 
possibly not listening to your intuition, something along those lines could potentially pose a challenge to this connection for the month of October. Um, one piece of advice that I'm feeling called to share with you is if your intuition tells you to do something this month, pay extra close attention to that. So if you're being guided to go somewhere or do something a little differently than you normally do, you might want to listen to that. Give it an extra consideration this month because something about not tapping into your power or your inner world or your spiritual guidance could potentially cause um, some kind of challenge for you and, and your connection with this person. Um, that might actually be what's hindering you from moving to this calmer period, this um, more optimistic and positive period in your love life. Okay, that might be why the Six of Swords is in reverse here because there might be some kind of internal blockage um, happening energetically for you right now that you need to, to pay closer attention to. All right. But you do have this beautiful possible foundation with this person. I mean, this is really like magical energy here. So let's see what your potential outcome is for the month of October with this connection. It is a potential outcome because it can change based on your free will, your person's free will. But let's just see what the energy is saying right now. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and what the Seven of Pentacles tells me as a potential outcome here, Capricorn, is you are on the path to divine timing with this connection. You're actually, when I said serendipity before, or serendipitous was the word that I used, it couldn't have been a more, a more perfect card in your potential outcome position here because the Seven of Pentacles lets you know that you are on the right path. You're right where you're supposed to be at that time. So this is all coming together in divine timing for you. Um, the only thing that could ne negatively affect that, like I said earlier, is you not tapping into some kind of inner potential. So whether that be not standing fully in your power or not listening to your intuition, those things could hinder the connection. But for the most part, you are on the right path here. And this person's very sure about what they want in their life. And that's going to be you, Capricorn, okay? Whether they, whether this is something they've already decided or if this is futuristic influence, they're going to be very sure that they want to be with you, okay? We're going to get some clarifiers on all this, but um, this also lets me know one other thing about the Seven of Pentacles. It lets me know when you do come together with this person, it might be a little bit of a slow start to the relationship, but this time period, especially um, October, um is going to allow you the time to kind of nurture the beginnings and the foundation of this relationship so that it can be very successful in the long term, all right? So very exciting, very positive energies here. It's really the only challenge I'm seeing is within you, yourself, Divine Feminine. So whoever I'm tapping into today, it's a Divine Feminine. Uh, you know, you don't have to be, but I, I, I get the sense that if this is going to resonate with you, that you identify as a divine feminine and you need to look within at what the the energetic blockage is right now because I really feel that it's within you six of swords let's get some clarity here what's going on with Capricorn in the month of October as they approach their romantic situation with this person Ten of Swords. Okay, so maybe you are coming out of some kind of painful ending and that has you feeling stuck, like you can't move forward possibly for someone I'm picking up on. Um, let's see what else. Seven of Cups. You might be feeling disillusioned as well. Um, maybe overwhelmed with not knowing which way to go, not knowing uh, which option to take in some way. I feel like you're disillusioned in love right now and it's preventing you from moving into something beautiful that wants to come in and start. Our daily energy check, those are the little short videos that I upload and I try to do them at least a few days a week. Today we had an ace of, and they're for the entire collective, so they affect you as well, Capricorn. Um, we had an ace of wands trying to come in with the lover's energy, but there was some kind of blockage. There was some kind of miscommunication or someone refusing to work on something um, for some people, it could have been a third-party interference, but I'm getting that for you. 
there's some kind of energetic blockage internally because of something painful that just ended for you, okay? It doesn't have to be something in your immediate past. This could be something that happened, you know, in the more distant past that has caused like a trauma or some kind of wounding that you need to look at here because it's disillusioned you and it's made you feel like very cynical about your love life, all right? And I, I, that's the energy I'm picking up today. It doesn't mean that that's going to persist, but that's just kind of like the the energy that's coming through today. All right. So that's something you really need to look at Capricorn throughout the month so that the divine timing can continue to flow and unfold naturally. Let's look at your person's energy here. They're very decisive about what they want in their love life, but let's get a little bit more information here. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, your person is coming out of some situation. Something happened in your person's life to open their eyes about what they do and they don't want in a relationship. I'm getting the sense that someone here, this person was in some kind of connection that made them feel like they were doing all the work. They were carrying all the burdens and not getting like an equal energetic exchange from their partner. It was a very one-sided connection that they were in at some point, and this has made them very, very decisive about what they're willing to tolerate in a relationship and what they're not willing to tolerate. Um, I'm seeing somebody at a factory right now. I'm not sure why, but I figured I, 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 I've been trying to say those little bits of information that I channel as they come through. So I'm seeing someone either working at a factory or working with some kind of heavy machinery. So that might connect to you or your person. Capricorn only you're going to know if that's relevant all right but yeah your person doesn't want to feel burdened in in their next romantic connection and they're very clear about the type of behavior that they're willing to accept all right which has given them a lot of clarity so that's a good thing they know what they want they know uh, what kind of romantic connection they're looking for and when they come across you Capricorn you're going to be pretty much everything that they're looking for okay all right, let's get some clarity here on the Wheel of Fortune. It's a very positive omen with the, the position that it came out in and the fact that it came out upright. This is faded and it's it's good karma for you and your person. Possibly both of you have dealt with some, you know, nonsense in past connections and this is the universe rewarding you for those lessons that you've learned. The lovers, yeah, very positive, romantic connection here this is going to be a very deep romance between you and this person one or both of you may have a choice between this connection and another connection as well okay and I just moved the card up so you could see it a little better there but yeah one or both of you may have a choice between lovers or um, a choice between this connection and another one um, and I'm getting that if if either one of you does have a choice I feel like it might be you Capricorn I feel like something may have ended, but you're still kind of mentally stuck on another connection or something that happened with someone else that has you not tapping into your inner potential, okay? This could this could relate to your person as well because it seems like they were in some kind of one-sided partnership that affected them, but I feel like their partnership affected them for the positive, like it made them more decisive about what they really want. Um, I'm getting just a little bit of a stuck energy, a disillusioned energy from you today, Capricorn. So that just might be something you need to look at. But overall, very, very deep romantic potential here in this new connection with whoever your person is. All right, the hanged man. Yeah, one or both of you got a new perspective in your relationship in what for what you want out of a relationship. Definitely, we know your person has gotten a new perspective but I feel like you're in the process of that as well you are seeing things from a higher perspective you're seeing things more clearly about what it is that you really want but we're going to get some information in a moment on what the internal challenge is and how you need to work through that so spirit what does Capricorn need to work on in terms of whatever this inner energetic blockage is that has them unable to step into this upright nine of pentacles or upright a uh, high priestess energy because you clearly have that potential 
but they came out in reverse because there's some kind of blockage here. So oop, that definitely wanted to pop out this card right here. Queen of Cups. Uh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, wow. Capricorn, you are a very deeply loving, empathetic person. We know this. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. You have a lot of love to give. But with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here, I don't know if you're coming out of a family situation or something that happened with a family member or with a long-term partner that just has you really wounded right now and not wanting to kind of touch that wound not wanting to look at it and heal it because it just is very painful but that is what's hindering you right now this person can't fully come in you can't fully open yourself up to this connection until you've dealt with whatever that is so it might be a little bit of a painful process as you continue to heal but the only way you, this Queen of Cups here, is going to be able to give your love to this person that wants to come in is if you really take a hard look at the situation and look at um, how you're holding yourself back, okay? You have a very positive potential outcome here with the Seven of Pentacles. I see this as you nurturing this connection with this person when it comes in. Um, but to move it on to that, you know, Eight of Pentacles and onward, you're going to need to fix whatever this energetic blockage is. Let's get the Seven of Pentacles. Let's get some clarity. We have the Queen of Pentacles that just popped out here. So again, that's your energy. Okay, so you you need to step into, okay, that full Queen of Pentacles potential. Step into your full power. Realize your worth. I'm being called to say that because I'm channeling those words right now. So know your worth. Recognize your worth. Maybe something had you feeling like unsure of yourself because of a painful situation that you've been through recently. All right. So really know your worth and step into your power there throughout the month. Do things. Do, do a lot of self-care practices and it's going to help you regain your strength. Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, I feel like, like I said before, like I've been saying, something painful has you disillusioned about love right now. You have a Two of Pentacles potential here with whoever this new person is. I'm sorry, Two of Cups. That was a Freudian slip. Uh, you have a Two of Cups potential here with this person, but it can't, it can't come in upright, okay? It's not going to come in fully upright with its full beautiful potential unless you step into this queen of pentacles energy again you have to do something to release whatever the blockage is that's holding you back internally that's going to be different for all of you so that's going to be something you have to kind of have a personal conversation with your higher self about and really do some soul searching to find out what's holding you back okay once you once you fix that though you have this beautiful connection coming in and this person's going to be very very sure that they want to be with you all right we have i'm going to be using the c melodies oracle deck to extend today's message spirit what else does capricorn need to know about their love connection and their romantic life for october 2023 choose wisely be discerning you don't have to keep everything in your net that relates down here to the message with the lover's card. I feel like someone is stuck on something. You're either stuck on a relationship that you have one foot out of right now or something has come to a complete end and you're still kind of mentally and emotionally stuck on it. So spirit is telling you to choose wisely. Is it really worth holding on to something that's not giving back to you anymore? Okay. Explore. Maps show what has already been discovered. Go another way. Yeah, spirit wants you to open yourself up to something new that's trying to come in this month, Capricorn. And I think this is an important message too about what I said regarding your intuition before. Um, allow your intuition to guide you in new ways this month. So things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. If you're feeling like a nagging sensation to do something or go somewhere then you should really pay very close attention to that this month because I feel like that might be how you come across this person. Okay, communicate. Things left unsaid will never reach the shore. So make sure that you are communicating adequately with this person when they come in. 
And uh, yeah, the seven of pentacles, like I said, in order to move that to a more kinetic type energy or an energy that wants to move forward, um, you may need to do a lot of communicating with this person. You mean you may need to let them know, you know, you're not completely over whatever this situation is. Um, I would just communicate as honestly as possible with this person and you know, they're very sure about what they want and that's going to be you. So this person is going to be a very high quality person who's willing to wait for you and willing to allow you to do that healing if you, if you are, you know, if you're finding that you still need to do that. Okay. And one more, let's get one more message for today. Move. Barnacles only grow on a docked ship. It's time to move on, Capricorn. It's time to allow something new in. It can't be any clearer than the messages that have come out today. It is time to move on. It is time to allow this new connection to come in. Divine timing is at play. You just need to work a little bit on empowering yourself this month. And I feel that things will unfold beautifully for you. Okay? I hope that this helped in some way and resonated. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help the channel grow. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye, Capricorn.